Hi everyone, good evening and welcome to the channel. My name is Manish Tiwari and today we are going to talk about how we upgrade the EKS cluster in production system. So every time when you are working with the, your AWS cloud, you are working as a DevOps engineer, you see that most of the time we talk about the Kubernetes that my application is running as a container like uh, we are talking about the node we are talking about the server we are talking about the different different kind of issues correct so ultimately most of the applications are running on the cluster system Kubernetes system correct either you are going to with the AWS cloud you are going with the Azure cloud you are going with the GCP or even if you are going with the on-prem say uh, on-prem uh, private cloud as well you are going to work with the Kubernetes system ultimately. So we will see uh, today, we will be talking about uh, how we upgrade our Kubernetes cluster system in our production system, correct? So when you are dealing dealing with the production, you cannot be a downtime. So how do we upgrade production system? This is what we are going to talk in this particular video. Before that, uh, let me tell you about our DevOps interview preparation bootcamp batch as well. In this particular batch, what we do? We talk about all the scenario based questions, interview uh, related scenario based questions, your conceptual questions. We talk about troubleshooting questions. You, we talk about generic interview questions. We also talk about day to day activities, DevOps project explanation and all kind of questions what you face during your interview. So we also suggest how can you improve your profile? How can you better represent yourself during your interview so that you can crack your DevOps interview. This is what we get. This is what we uh, try to prepare you. Correct. As I discussed, that uh, we talk about the different different troubleshooting questions, scenario based question, your generic questions, and uh, all the things. It covers AWS, Kubernetes, Terraform, CI/CD. That means Jenkins, GitHub Actions, and your uh, Docker. Each and every concepts, whatever is required, we cover during this batch. It's a five-day course, and uh, for more inquiry, you can drop a. Uh, WhatsApp message on the number which is given in the description and on the screen as well. Okay, now let's come back to the point where we were talking. We were talking about the EKS cluster upgrade in production system. So what happens when you have a number of microservices like you have deployed your e-commerce application or you have deployed your ServiceNow tool, any of the project you can think of. This project consists of multiple number of microservices, 20, 25, 30, based on the requirement, based on the project uh, features, correct? Each and every feature of your application is break down into a microservice. That means if you are getting a review system, correct, where you are going to mark any application or any uh, hotel as a five star or three star or two star, correct? So you are pointing, a, uh, you are giving a review, you are giving a feedback, correct? Either it's Rapido, Ola, Uber, everywhere you pass up review. This is a particular microservice. You are logging into some someone application, that is another microservice. You are uh, getting some order related uh, notification, that is a notification microservice. So each and every component what you see that is there in a real project that is called as a different microservice or the, you can say in a simpler word that particular feature is being provided through a different microservice. So that is a microservice, so just for understanding. Now, when we talk about deploying these microservices and making ensure that all the microservices can communicate to each other, what does that mean? That means the moment you log in into your application or someone's application, you create a profile, you, you uh, submit details, and these details are stored somewhere in the database. Next time when you will try to log in, you will do sign in, it should automatically authenticate that your profile already exists. So your login microservice should interact with another microservice which is in, uh, which is storing the uh, database, correct? Which is storing your profile data. Then what is your order list? For that your uh, homepage microservice should interact with the order microservice so that it can face the data and it can represent for you. That this is the order what you have uh, already made, correct? So each and every services can communicate with each other. Each and every services can work with each other uh, com with compatibility. This is uh, to ensure all these things, to maintain all the containers which are running, correct? We ultimately, the application, what you are running on the AKS cluster, ultimately when you will get into the depth of the Kubernetes, it will be referred as container, which are running and which are serving the different, different use case, different, different business need. So these containers can communicate with each other and they can serve a grouped business uh, use case, correct? 
so this is what we ensure on uh, what we ensure after deploying our system on the kubernetes cluster either it's the aws ekes or the azure ake we talk about or we talk about gke google kubernetes engine correct now when it comes to the upgrade of your uh, cluster the production cluster correct or even if it's it can be for staging as well and for other environment as well but the best approach or the uh, best practice you can say what uh, most of the time we follow to upgrade our cluster without G any downtime so that your traffic does not get disturbed or your real end user is not impacted while you are doing cluster upgrade what we do we first of all if you are working with the aws cluster aws cloud first of all we upgrade the control plane if you are not aware about the control plane and data plane you can read about that control plane is the main component you can say the master as well so first of all you will get a option to upgrade your control plane on the aws cloud console itself you get into the aws ekes you will see that option you will click on that particular button it will upgrade the control plane of that particular cluster so in this particular case this control plane is being managed through aws cloud itself so you do not have to do anything you just click and you you are done after the time like it will show you the progress of that particular upgrade which is happening once the control plane is upgraded now you need to upgrade your worker nodes where your actual pods are scheduled your actual applications are running on this server worker nodes correct now to upgrade the worker node what best practice we follow like just suppose that you have one worker node called as uh, worker node group 1 and this worker node group 1 is having five number of servers and these five number of servers uh, have all the traffic like all the pods which are running against your microservices all these pods are running on this five number of servers which are part of group 1 what you will do when you are going to upgrade the cluster you will create another node group that means worker node group 1 which was already there now you will create a new worker node group that will be called as worker node group 2 you will replicate the similar kind of thing here that means similar kind of instance class the server you will replicate here and if required you can upgrade these classes that means if earlier server's capacity were t3. medium and now you want it to c5.x large you want to uh, increase the computing capacity if you want to increase the infrastructure resources so you will launch the five number of server in worker node group 2 with c5.x large or based on your requirement correct moment the moment the all these servers are now ready what you will do now you will start here kubectl drain and kubectl cordon these two command you need to execute on your previous worker node groups so what will happen here the moment you will do the cordon what does that mean that means no new pod will be scheduled to this node what does that mean that means the moment when you will uh, like just suppose for one microservice there are five number of pods running for login there are five number of pods run, are running the moment you will remove or you will uh, rep, uh, scale down the number of pods from this uh, earlier node the new pod the pod which is the pod which will remove, which will be removed from that particular node that should get scheduled somewhere correct this is how kubernetes work now this pod the controller manager will look that where i can schedule this a scheduler correct sorry not the controller manager a scheduler a scheduler will look like uh, look, it will look for where i can schedule this particular pod so it will look for the resources which where uh, there enough resources are there and the moment when you have marked it as a cordon what does that mean that means no new pod will be scheduled to this node so it will be now scheduled to the new node or to the earlier node which are left out so what you will do you will do one by one cordon and uh, drain what does that mean no new pod will come and drain that means remove all the pods which are running on that node so cordon that means no new pod and drain that means all the existing pod on that particular node that will be removed from there so that way you will do one by one and all the pods which are running on these nodes will be moved to the newer node so this is how we do the cluster upgrade we do the or worker nodes upgrade in real production system so i hope you might uh, get this uh, information and uh, you have understood this and if you are not uh, sure like uh, how these things works you can drop a whatsapp message for more explanation and uh, if you want a detailed training and uh, like how these things are done how the bpc how subnet lambda function ec2 terraform blocks is retained docker file is retained how your kubernetes deployment look like how it is implemented the complete training also we provide and we also provide devops interview preparation bootcamp batch where we specifically focus how you can prepare yourself uh, 
is within five days and you can track your interview we have provided results as well that result you can see in our whatsapp group so let's meet in the next video with some more information on some another topic till the time thank you bye bye